Hello everyone, and welcome back to another review. Today we have Kings of the Beach on the NES. Now, uh, this is another Ultra game, and um, a volleyball game. First things first, this is technically a Konami game, since it's under the Ultra label. Therefore, it automatically has awesome music. I mean, just listen to some of these tunes. One thing I find interesting about this game is that it was a port from the PC, the Commodore 64 and DOS. It was published and developed by Electronic Arts, and it has second publisher, of course, Ultra Games. The game was you know like I said like many others a PC port and playing the game it actually seems a lot like a PC game in some regards I don't know why but it just kinda has that PC-esque feeling without having too many like PC style elements it's a really hard thing to com to uh, explain but you know it's kind of how a lot of these games go. A lot of it just comes from feeling of playing it and whatnot. One game that comes to mind that Konami did do that um, a lot of people didn't like that was a PC port is King's Quest V. The PC version is way better. I think the uh, console version isn't that bad. It's certainly not as bad as some people seem to rave about, but it's uh, definitely far from good. So let's take a look at the gameplay and such for Kings of the Beach on the NES. One thing first of all that I'd like to mention is the cover art looks so weird. Like, it's in that style that they basically just took a bunch of pictures out of magazines almost and then kind of glued them together I think they were going for that but why on a volleyball game I don't know it's the artistic vision of NES covers will never be solved I don't think really if you see some of these covers on NES games they're just so whacked out and weird but this one almost feels a little lazy to me. Um, really, the cover doesn't matter too much, but it's kind of something you'd see once you see the game. I guess volleyball would sell it for you, really, because it's not like a platformer or an RPG or anything. But still, though, the cover kind of matters in this instant just not as much as the other ones it's not a terrible cover but it's not exactly a decent cover either it looks presentable though now on to the starting point of the game there's like a little beach area of course kings of the beach and you have different areas where you can go practice and then there's a little match place um, around those training areas so you can if you want to play one match just for fun you can go do that and then there's a registration menu where there are several options for multiplayer um, you know sound options stuff like that then you're on to the tournament mode now this is the real meat and potatoes of the game here you have some stereotypical characters and areas, and well, it's a volleyball game, and it's a volleyball court. What do you expect? Graphics all look pretty good, it's all colorful, you know, I think it looks pretty nice. It reminds me of that one game, California Games on the NES, um, but maybe the graphics aren't as good, but they're definitely bright, I like bright. Uh, you have a partner with you, you know, he can sometimes screw up, which is kind of weird because it's like a computer automated partner in a game where precision really, really matters like a lot. And you don't want your partner, your computer partner costing you points, or at least that's how I think of it. So it's kind of randomly generated too because you never really know when he's gonna mess up. I've had 
times when he messed up like three times in a row. So, it's kind of bad in that regard. And you must have 12 points to get to the end of the first match. And gameplay-wise, well, it's, like I said, a volleyball game. What do you expect? I actually enjoy volleyball on the Atari a lot more. Um, or at least I think that's the name of it at this time. Uh, it's, it's a really, really, really fun, competitive either against the computer or against um, another friend because you really have to rely on skill fast action and precision and this game doesn't have that this game is more a game of luck than a game of skill which is why I think volleyball on Atari is way better volleyball games are just supposed to be intense fun and fast and I think that's where this game really really lacks it doesn't have that whole intense fast you know giving you a rush of excitement I'm gonna freaking slam that ball you know it doesn't do that and you can say oh well you know 8-bit games uh, freaking 16-bit games, whatever, they couldn't have that. They couldn't have that level of excitement in, in a game like this. Well, I would have to say, in my personal opinion, that's wrong. Because if a game like Volleyball on Atari can give you that rush of excitement, then why can't the 8-bit game Kings of the Beach do so? You know? So that's just the way I look at it. A lot of the t time, the game, like I said, just becomes a game of luck rather than skill. Mostly just because of the unrealistic unre teammate, the random falling, you know, the ball just kind of going around. I really don't know how to, to describe it. It's the controls are tight enough, but sometimes to me they just feel a little bit loose and that kind of has something to do with it. And timing is definitely important uh, in that regard, though. And really the only part that requires any, any skill is serving and hitting the ball when it comes toward you. And that's all just timing. So, really I can't recommend this game. There's a lot of better volleyball games on the NES, which I can only think of three at the moment. Um, but just play just play the volleyball game on the Atari. Like, that game's way better than this. Uh, so I cannot recommend this game. It's very, very cheap if you're trying to build an NES collection like I am. I'm trying to get all the Ultra games, you know. Um, and that was one of them that I needed. I only had two, so... I picked up that one and uh, well it was a disappointment it was a letdown but you know that's just how it goes I'm gonna play some more volleyball on the Atari I'm have I would like have way more fun with that game uh, than this one or or a uh, super dodgeball which isn't a volleyball game but it's very fun and I think they had a volleyball game in that same series on the Famicom but uh didn't come out over here but you know you can still emulate it or you know get a repro of it or pop it up on your everdrive or whatever you hipsters are doing so uh yeah thanks for watching that's kings of the beach not a very good game in my opinion uh for the reasons stated already so thanks for watching check me out on twitter facebook don't forget to join the group and share your own videos